Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially running for President of the United States. All right, so this election has created two schools of thought when revealing that you are voting for either Trump or Joe Biden. The number one school says there is our belief that someone's political views should not dictate their worth and just because they support Trump or Biden does not give you a reason to insult them. And then there's school number two that says anyone's support for Trump or Biden is a reason to insult them. All right, so we're going to get into Hollywood actors, singers, and athletes that support Trump. <laughs> Y'all can tell I'm killing time with a video like this, but hey, <laughs> it's just funny. And right now they're trying to tally the election results. So, hey, let's just have fun. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the Stimulus Check Update Lighthouse on Earth and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like to celebs who support Donald Trump. Now, Donald Trump is, to say the least, a very divisive figure. Enjoy and hate it in equivalent process. He will stand for his second term later this year. He's going to run for that office. So depending on when you listen to this, he won or he lost. But actors and celebrities are, by and large, a liberal lot. But there are always a few. The grain, man, they go against the grain. Now here's a look at this gallery of celebrities who support Donald Trump. Let's get into it. Number one. Number one. Kanye West. Yeah. The hugely successful rap artist and inventor of easy shoes and slides that cost about $500, $600, $400, $300. What the fuck? Has actually fulfilled Trump on a number of events with his presence, including on a visit to the White House. Now Kanye Omari West is an American rap artist record producer and fashion designer. Throughout his profession, Kanye West has actually been accountable for cultural movements and musical progressions within mainstream hip-hop and music at large. Now, born in Atlanta and raised in Chicago, he was first known as a maker and manufacturer of Rockefeller Beats or Rockefeller Records in the early 2000s, producing singles for numerous mainstream artists. Intent on pursuing a solo profession as a rapper, Kanye West launched his first album, The College Dropout, in 2004. And he supports Trump. He don't he not on the body train. They're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending. <laughs> All right. Number right. two. So next on the list, we have John Voight. <laughs> now John Voight is the Midnight Cowboy star. And he's among Trump's most significant fans and regularly tweets his substantial support for the Trump presidency. Now John Voight is an American actor and he's a winner of the Academy Award, having actually been nominated for four. Now, he has actually likewise won four Golden Globe Awards and has so far been nominated for 11 of them things. Now, he is the dad of the starlet Angelina Jolie and actor James Hayden. Give people in their spirit. But the country of Mexico is killing us. I want to build a wall. I'm going to build a wall. I want to build the wall. We need the wall. And Mexico will pay for the wall. <laughs> Number three. Next on the list, we have Clint Eastwood, the yeah. veteran actor. President Trump's lack of potential correctness, uh, political correctness that is in the past. Well, Clint Eastwood, Clint Eastwood Jr., born May 31st, 1930. He says that he is cool with Trump. He rocks with Trump and he's an American star, film director, manu manufacturer and maker and composer of many films. And he actually ran for office in the past. Now, after accomplishing success in the Western television series Rawhide, he rose to global fame with his role as the man without any name in Sergio Leone's Dollars trilogy of spaghetti Westerns throughout the 1960s. And he's his anti-hero police officer, Harry Callahan or Dirty Harry movies throughout the 1970s and 1980s and he's not on the Biden train he's on Donald Trump's train drugs they're bringing crime they're rapists who's number one with it? oh my god Why? number four all right so next on the list we have Christy Alley the chief yeah. actress has been vocal on Twitter about her continuous support for President Trump. Now, Christy Louise Alley, born January 12, 1951, is an American actress, producer, designer, and television character. Her breakout role was as Rebecca Ho on the NBC sitcom Cheers. It ran from 1987 to 1933, receiving an Emmy Award and a global, a global Golden Globe on 1991 for her role. Now, from 1997 to 2000, she starred in you know the comedy veronica's closet earning additional emmy and golden globe nominations no god please no no i like people no okay i hate to tell you seriously what the fuck are you doing 
number five. Next on the list, we have Roseanne Barr, the controversial comedian and starlet, shows Donald Trump in 2016 and makes her support for President Trump very clear on Twitter. And Roseanne Cherie Barr, she was born November 3rd, 1952. She's an American starlet. Stop she's a it. comic, she's a writer, Get she's some a help. maker of her own shows, and you know, she also ran for office in the past. So she's a governmental prospect. Now, Roseanne Barr began her profession in stand-up comedy prior to gaining praise in her TV comedy, Roseanne, during the years of 1988 through 1997. That's what she's most known for. Now, and we're gonna get him out. And it's really weak <laughs> to call John McCain a loser because he was a. I never called him. I don't. That is outrageous. Him. Number six. Next on the list, you have Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> now, Kelsey Grammer, he's the Fraser star. He chose Donald Trump in 2016 as well, and he continues to speak highly of President Trump. Alan Kelsey Grammer. He was born in February 21st, 1955. He's an American star. He's a comedian. He's a singer. He's a producer, director, Surprise, and he's an author and conservative political activist. He's best understood for his two-decade-long representation of a psychiatrist, Dr. Fraser Crane, on the NBC sitcom Cheers and Fraser. One. Now, a lot of you might be saying that you might equate him to Larry David who's a writer of another, you know, show called Seinfeld, but he's on, Kelsey Grammer that is, is on the Trump train. Larry David is on that Biden train. Hispanic. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> I love the Mexican people in this. <laughs> Number seven. Now, Dennis Quaid is next. Another one. Hollywood actor. He got a great deal of flack on Twitter for how he applauded President Trump's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. Now, Dennis William Quaid, he was born April 9th, 1954. He's an American actor known for his wide array of dramatic and comical functions. Now, first gaining widespread attention in the 1980s, a few of his noteworthy credits consist of Breaking Away, which came out in 1979, and The Right Stuff that came out in 1983, and The Big Easy in 1986, and Space in 1987, and Great Balls of Fire now. I don't like losers. But, but Frank, he's Frank, let me get hero. to it. He's he hit me. Hero. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's <laughs> His brother, believe it or not, Randy Quaid. Yo, they both rocking with Trump now. The eccentric star and Dennis Quaid's brother has published various videos and pictures and tweets expressing their interest and love for President Trump. Man, they rocking with Trump now. Randy Randall Rudy Quaid, born October 1st, 1950, is an American star known for his roles in both severe drama and light comedy. So these guys are well-versed actors now. He was chosen for his Academy Award, BAFTA Award, and his Global Globe Award, his Golden Globe Award, that is, for his function in the last, call it the last detail in 1973. This is on the front page of the New York Times. I don't wear a toupee. <laughs> I'll prove. I'll prove once and for all that it's mine, okay? <laughs> Number eight. Now, here's a shocker for some people. Some people didn't know, but Mike Tyson, the former world heavyweight champ boxer, was has been really vocal about his support for Donald Trump. He's running with Trump, Mike Tyson. All right. So Michael Gerard Tyson, he was born June 30th, 1966, as an American, you know, uh, expert boxer and convicted felon. You know, he, uh, they said he was a rapist, but he uh, convicted rapist who competed in boxing from 1985 to 2005. Now he ruled as the undisputed, the indisputable world heavyweight champion from 1987 to 1990, and was the very first heavyweight boxer to concurrently hold the WBA, WBC, and IBF titles. In addition to he, to the only heavyweight to successfully unify both them titles all right so come come is it mine look it is it is I, I, say I, it please yes i believe it is thank you <laughs> i have such respect for women i cherish women you've called women you don't like fat pigs dogs slobs and disgusting animals your twitter account <laughs> Number nine. Here's another shocker for some people, but Gene Simmons. What? He's from Kiss fame. He is the Kiss front man. Kiss was a rock band. Slamming, right? Now, Kiss front man was actually been extremely outspoken about his support for Donald Trump and Donald Trump's presidency. Animals. Your Twitter account. Only Rosie several... O'Donnell. <laughs> I love the women that faint when I speak. Those are the ones that love me. No, go ahead, Donald. No, I'm a now, Gene Klein, born Chain Wits on August 25th, 1949, is known professionally as Gene Simmons, is an Israeli-American artist, vocalist, songwriter, record maker, business owner, star, author, and TV personality, also understood by his stage personality, The Demon. He is the bassist and co-lead singer of Kiss, the rock band he founded with lead singer and rhythm guitar player Paul Stanley in the early 1970s. It's a 70s rock band. Now, Simmons has a baritone singing voice with contrast with uh, Paul Stanley and Peter Chris, tenor voices. 
what I say. And honestly, Megan, if you don't like it, like I'm fat pigs, dogs, slobs, number ten, and disgusting animals. All right, so next on the list we have Kate Magenna, the previous mm -hmm. and Truth TV star voted for Donald Trump what? in 2016, but withdrew her support because of Trump's policies concerning trans people. But Caitlyn Mary Jenner was born William Bruce Jenner, October 28, 1949, and she's an American TV character and retired Olympic gold medal winning decathlete. And Caitlyn Jenner played college football for the Graceland Yellow Jackets before incurring a knee injury that required surgery, but she is on record for being a supporter of Donald Trump. Of women's health care issues, you won't even believe it. Do you believe in punishment for abortion, yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. Social Such a Security nasty trust woman. Fund. I have tremendous what respect for- Last but not least, a bonus. All right, so next we have Hulk Hogan, a retired expert wrestler, has actually been extremely vocal on his support for Donald Trump. What? Now, Terry Eugene Bole, better understood by his ring name, Hulk Hogan, is an American retired expert wrestler, TV character, actor, and entrepreneur. According to IGN, Hogan is the most recognized wrestling star and battling star worldwide and the most popular wrestler of the 1980s. Now, some of you might, if you saw the other video, go back and look at that other video for wrestlers and stuff who support Joe Biden, and you'll see that The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, actually supports Biden, but Hulk Hogan over here, he supports Donald Trump. All right, so, might be an interesting fact for you guys to check out. All right, so check out more videos. That's a famous Mussolini quote. You retweeted it. Do you like the quote? Did you know it was sure. Mussolini? It's okay to know it's Mussolini. I look, Mussolini was Mussolini. It's okay to know. It's a very good quote. It's a very interesting quote. I mean, I'm just talking about David Duke. <laughs> what the fuck? So this might be a shocker for some people, but Lil Wayne is on that Trump train. That's right. That's right, party people. He not rocking with Biden. That's his prerogative. But Dwayne Michael Carter Jr., better known by his stage name, Lil Wayne, is an American rap artist, singer, songwriter, record executive, entrepreneur, and actor. Now, he is regarded by lots of contemporaries as one of the most influential hip-hop artists of his generation and frequently cited as one of the best artists and lyricists of all time. Now, his career started in 1995 at the age of 12. That's right, he was a child star when he was signed by rap artist Birdman, who he calls his daddy. Now, he's joining Cash Money Records as the youngest member of the label back when he was 12. Now, for several years, Lil Wayne was the flagship artist of Cash Money Records prior to ending his association with the business in June 2018. Look, look at her, look at her words. You tell me what you think. I don't think so, I don't think so. All of these liars will be sued after the election is over. So listen, I had a lot of fun making this video. Hey, you know, a lot of people, I want you to keep in mind that a lot of people that support Donald Trump are some of his past friends. I mean, everybody has friends and you shouldn't be judged by whoever you vote for. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's that's your prerogative. You vote for who you want to vote for. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's a person. Everybody deserves to be shown love. And yo, this had a lot of fun making this video. Um, I got one for Biden. We take a shot at him too. We take a shot at everybody because a vote is your personal prerogative. So hey, love yourself and just know that you're a winner. He had the good news stimulus check up data and we're gonna let you know when the next stimulus check come. And yo, one last thing. Look, if you're brand new to this channel, make sure to strike that subscribe button with a body slam right down below. And like and comment, please, because a like and a comment are always valued. Likewise, if you would not mind sharing this with your friends and family due to the fact that I'm sure they would likewise like the most up-to-date information on the stimulus check number two and unemployment benefits readily available anywhere here on YouTube, which is what I provide here on this channel. The Lighthouse Stimulus Check Update Alert Club right here.